everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and today let's talk about a pretty well hidden feature inside of the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and this one's referred to as Pin Windows. So let's first show you guys exactly where this thing is located. You're going to want to pull down the notifications panel at the very top and click on that settings icon. Once you've done that, you'd be able to go into this lock screen and security because you're basically able to pin a application or lock it so then you can't get into anything else. Then what you do is you go to the very, very bottom of the lock screen and security. You're going to see this option where it says other security options. And then you scroll down to the very bottom again, where you have the option right here for pin windows. So right inside of here, you'd be able to actually have it on or turn it off. You also have the option for the pin uh, before unpinning it. So if you have somebody who is able to actually read the screen, select this option. If you have somebody who is young enough to not be able to read the screen, and you'll see why here in a minute, then you'll be perfectly fine with this. So this is going to come in handy if you want somebody to use a particular application and not get out of it. So if you're on a field trip or a road trip and you got your son or daughter in the back and they're watching YouTube, you don't want them to get out of that application or they're playing a game. And again, you don't want them to get out of that application and accidentally call or text somebody, maybe possibly charge you money somehow in any way, shape or form with another application uh, or even delete your images from your gallery. So what this does is it pins a specific app to your device screen while an app is pinned. Um, it, the, the calling and the messaging and other functions may not be available, which in the most cases is exactly what you're looking for. So once you have this thing turned on, which I actually do right up on the very top, you click on this recent uh, apps button. And let's say that we want to lock in uh, YouTube. Once you go inside of there, you want it to be the very previous, the most last application you've had. So it is on the very bottom down here that when you swipe up, you have that pin that is on the very bottom. This is what everybody looks at, but this is when you, what, what you will be able to get to. So you click on that pin. Now you actually just pinned it and you hit on start. So you'd be able to basically go through anything and everything in this application. Um, the only thing is that you hit the home button, it's not gonna do anything. You can hit your back button, which will be able to take you back you know, a couple of the different pages, which is probably what you're gonna need inside of an application. But again, you can't get out of this thing. Even if you were to try to maybe turn off the phone, turn the phone back on, whatever you're doing, it'll always, always go right back into this application because it is pinned. You're not able to get out of it unless if you're actually able to press and hold on the recent app button as well as the back button. So let's go to the recent app and back button, press and hold simultaneously. Boom, now the app is now unpinned, which is why I talked about before. If they're able to read the screen, turn on the pin, so then they would have to know the pin to get out of that application. So I hope you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe. Right over here, you'd be able to hit that button right there to subscribe to the channel. Over here, you have the two different options. You'd be able to go to the very next video on the bottom or watch the rest of the playlist of the Galaxy S8 Plus on the very top. And I'll see you guys later.